Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to solve this three-dimensional problem. Uh, basically, we have some kind of a loading dock. You can think of this as a boat dock or some kind of a uh, any kind of a, a situation where you have uh, these three blue struts that are supporting with some kind of a cable this box. Now we know that the box is 500 kilograms and we're given dimensions of everything that we can label here. And what we really want to figure out is what is the force in each of these three struts. I mean you can see the way that it's constructed. We have a force coming down here which will be the weight and some of that force will be transmitted to these three different struts and we want to figure out is what is the force in those struts. We maybe we want to make sure that the thing is strong enough to hold it or what its maximum load is. Now I want to conf confess one thing. I did my best to draw this but um, because it's three dimensions, it's a little bit hard. I labeled everything correctly, but you notice that this is like 0.75 meters, and then this distance is 1.25 meters, even though it looks smaller than this. So there's a little bit of perspective weirdness because I'm freehand drawing this kind of thing, but if you just kind of use the, the numbers, that's the most important thing anyway. So in order to find this out, our basic strategy is we're going to find uh, a force vector for this, for this member, for this member, and for this member, and then we know this thing's in equilibrium, so we know that the sum of all the forces acting um, have to be zero. So once we get a vector representation of all the forces, we just proceed as usual. Um, now the only thing that makes this thing a little tricky is the numbers are a little weird, so the coordinates are going to be a little weird, and it's just going to lead to a little more math, but it's fundamentally exactly what we've been doing before. Now first, let's draw a free body diagram. And that free body diagram is going to look something like this. You're going to have, uh, it's not exactly right, but since this original problem is in three dimensions, and I can't freehand draw very well in three dimensions, I just need some bookkeeping method to keep everything together. This guy we're going to call FAD. That's the force along member AD. This guy we're going to call FAC, the force along member AC. And this one we're going to call F you guessed it, A, B, because it points from A to B. This guy we're just going to call the weight. Okay. Now, by the way, what is the weight? Well, we look at this guy. We know it's 500 kilograms, so the weight is mass times gravity, which is 500 times 9.81. So the weight of this object in terms of newtons is 49.05 newtons. So that's what that is. That's the only real known that we have here. So how do we proceed with the rest of it? We need to find these vectors. Now this one's a little bit harder because uh, only one of the struts ends at the origin, everything else is someplace else. So we, we formulate our vectors along a line the same way that we've done before. We're going to make our life a little easier by writing down the points. Point A is up here. It has an x component of zero because it's kind of on the, 